Hello all in this video session today we are going to learn a very important topic how to display any WBS element in SAP so for the display purpose in SAP PS we are using the transaction code CZ03 CZ01 for creation of the WBS CZ02 is for the changes of any WBS and CZ03 is for display purpose okay so I'm um, executing the transaction code CZ03 in SAP command window okay and here I have two options if you are you just want to open the project definition because in the project definition in the project there are n number of the WBS there may be n number of WBS are single WBS and so you can uh, uh, write the project number here and if you want to open the single WBS, then you can uh, write the WBS element here, okay? And simply press enter. Simply press enter or you click on the project definition, you click on the WBS element overview. Here is the WBS element overview and here is the project definition. So my main objective is to open all the WBS element in this project, okay? So I'm click on this either you can click on this or you can press enter getting my points this is the project definition and this is the single WBS element okay <coughs> so you can open these WBS okay if you want to know what are the activities plan in the WBS you can select this WBS line go in the dates go in the activity overview see there are three options internal processing external processing and prime cost getting my points so generally in internal processing material planning is done okay for example in this project what are the materials plan what are the requirement what types of the material requirement in this okay so we are planning the material here okay how how you can check this material select this line and click on this component overview okay this type of the material plan okay one quantity okay so you can check this element okay and again i'm just saying this is the network element this is the network in the WBS element you can make different different network element okay for the different different activities okay so here you can uh, note down this this is the network number once you open any activity then each and every activity will plan in under the network element okay see in this network element line number 10 is for the internal processing okay for if i have taken any external services from the vendor side then if you can plan all the services in the external processing and in prime cost these are the miscellaneous charges okay precisely these installation charges should be planned in the external processing but here uh, as for the test purpose uh, we have planned this uh, prime cost we have planned these miscellaneous charges and uh, installation charges in the this prime cost head okay so under network activity line number 10 material planning is there one material has been planned line number 20 loading and unloading charges line number 30 installation charges and line number 40 miscellaneous charges if any miscellaneous activity will be done okay so for the material planning we will do MIGO activity uh, we will issue the material from our storage location to the project and further we consume the material in this project and capitalize okay and further all the capitalization charge book in assets okay this loading and unloading charges provided by vendor installation charges also provided by vendor and miscellaneous charges are any overhead or borrowing cost also provided by uh, borrowing cost will uh, charge in each and every project capital project 
that is the separate part we will make a different video on the borrowing cost but for loading and unloading charges installation charges uh, the once the services has been completed and bill provided by vendor then we will create the purchase order for this loading and unloading charge and installation charges as per the services plan in this project okay there is a two option you can create the direct purchase order with respect to these services using p and d and account account assignment uh, project p and d dhs services are uh, account assignment n and d okay r once you release the external processing or prime cost a background purchase requisition will be generated and that purchase requisition will be used in the creation of the purchase order getting my points so we will plan these thing accordingly okay if for example you click on this installation charges and uh, just i just want to display these things so see this cost is this wbs element is this and uh, this is amount is this and the uh, account assignment is this okay okay so you can you can uh, you can uh, display these things accordingly okay so in the total field you can uh, plan all the activities for example uh, line number 10 these are the material planning line number under the network activity line number 20 is loading and unloading charges plan installation charges plan and miscellaneous charges plan okay so this is the way how can you check all these uh, thing in uh, sap with respect to wbs activity okay and uh, let's go back in the basic element if you just want to check what are the im notes and what are the note sheets so you can go in this uh, uh, detail extras go in the investment program so you will be able to see what are the im notes and all okay this is the im note and this is the approval year for okay and if you want to go in the detail and wbs element customer field uh, you will able to see note sheet here i am not able to uh, see note sheet but in you you will be able to see the note sheet what are the comments of the concerned officer okay so if you want to uh, check the document overview then you can uh, click on this milestone overview you can click on the document overview you can click on the ps text overview okay okay the line has no entry you can uh, if the entries are there then you can, you are able to see okay go in the hierarchy graphic if select the wbs element and uh, go to hierarchy graphic you can see the hierarchy graphic okay see this is the uh, project this is the wbs element and okay for example this is the project there are so many wbs element and so many network activities then uh, you can uh, check through a hierarchy graphic okay you can zoom also you can click on the zoom activity okay see so you can minimize this activity and uh, you, you can say, okay so this is all about okay so go back here uh, these are the basic things and uh, also you can uh, view the same thing uh, in cn41 and report okay for example 
if I am just want to open in CN41 okay see this is the installation of uh, Exicom and uh, you can see these are the project element these are the WBS element these are the approval documents and this is the network activity this is the network activity line number 10 material planning is there this material has been planned line number 20 loading and unloading charges installation charges these are the miscellaneous miscellaneous charges okay budget allotment is there total cost commitment is there and uh, order cost plan 001 we are always focusing on this order cost plan 001 okay so what is the status of these wbs status is in release mode okay so this is all about how can you view the wbs element in sap okay so my main objective is to uh, share this video with your friends and colleagues for this important knowledge and if you're new in my youtube channel please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon okay and if you like this video press a like button because once you press like give me a like it give me a motivation and support okay and thank you for watching this video keep smiling see you in the next video bye bye take care